Hello, gentles and ladymen. I'm Ulan Gaming, and recently in the patch, Carbine Cavalry have been changed and adjusted to make them function more like normal dragoons. And so that raises the question: What is better between a Carbine Cavalry and how does it and dragoons, and how does it stack up against the premier dragoon of the game? the Portugal Dragoon, which has better upgrade cards and a Royal Guard upgrade the, uh, com uh, over pretty much every other Dragoon type unit in the game. And that is what this question brings up today. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get into it. All right, now here is a comparison of age three stats, but there is something of note here that a lot of people do not tend to realize is that even though the game tends to look like flat numbers, the game is actually working in decimal points. Uh, you can see this sometimes, occasionally, when a certain amount of damage will result in an enemy's base, in an enemy's health bar, uh, remaining as less than half of one HP, which tends to be rounded down by the game's mathematics, and thus it says that the unit has zero HP, despite them being alive and well and walking around. Uh, so as an example, the Carbine Cavalry and the Veteran Dragoon both scale off of age 2 stats, not age 3. Now, this may surprise some people. Now, the Carbine Cavalry actually does have a card to enable them in age 2, so that probably won't surprise uh, those people, but a lot of people would be surprised that the Veteran Dragoon actually counts for this as well. The Veteran Dragoon is actually a legitimate veteran unit. Uh, and you and it is it is possible to gain access to early dragoons through Portugal's team card, and as a result, most dragoons in the game, and this applies to skirmishers as well, are scaled based off of age two stats. Uh, there are a couple exceptions to this rule, such as the Kyo the Aztec Eagle Runner and Arrow Runner Knight, as well as the Portuguese Casador, uh, but those are the exception rather than the norm. Uh, the Veteran Dragoon has 200 base HP and 20 to attack at 3 speed, with 12 range. And the Veteran Carbine's base HP is 180, with 18 attack and 14 range. So he has less attack by 4, uh, but more range, and it's at 2.25 speed, which means he shoots faster than the Dragoon to make up for the fact that he has less attack. We are going to take 2.25 as the time it takes for a single shot. We multiply this by 4 to get 9 total seconds of firing, uh, which equates to 4 shots. And the reason we are doing this is because 9 is a multiple of 3, uh, which means that it will take the exact same amount of time for a veteran carbine cavalry to fire 4 shots as it will for a veteran dragoon to fire 3 shots. So after multiplying our damage by 4, uh, we just divide it by three, and then that is our actual damage number. So we're going to start looking at age three stats. I know I said that these units start in age two, in scale based off age two stats. However, playing them in age two is a rarity, and so we will largely be ignoring them. And for similar reasons, I will not be in going in depth over imperial stats. We are going to be focusing on ages three and four with cards. Uh, the age three base attack speed, uh, base attack for carbine cavalry is 22. Now this is actually 21.6, uh, but it is 22. And the veteran dragoon is 26, which is actually 26.4. However, uh, when we use the calculation that we used for Carbine Cavalry, we can see that the uh, damage that they're doing is actually closer to 29 at 3 speed. Uh, so we can actually compare uh, more directly this way by saying that the Carbine Cavalry has 29 attack compared to the Veteran Dragoon's 26 attack, with more range but less range resistance and less HP. And this is going to be a theme that stays throughout this entire comparison between the Carbine Cavalry, as well as as well as just throughout every age ever, is that the Carbine Cavalry will have more attack than the Dragoon uh, in its equivalency in every single point of the game, 
except for the uh, except for HP. They will have more attack but less HP, and that is just going to be a thing. Uh, now, both of these, both Portugal and USA, have aged three cards that affect their said units. Uh, USA has the Buffalo Soldiers card, which got moved from age 4 to age 3, thank god, by the way. Uh, and it provides the Carbine Cavalry a 15% attack bonus and 10% extra range resistance to tie it up to 20%, just like the normal Dragoon. I think it should have that anyways, and it should go from 20 to 30, but that's just me. The Dragoon over, uh, meanwhile, the Portuguese Dragoon gets a very snazzy Dragoon Combat card. Uh, in age 3 for Portugal, which boosts them by 20% damage and HP, which means that they have closed the gap in the damage department against the Carbine Cavalry. Now, most port most players and most civilizations do not have this kind of specialized card, and at best they will have some Dragoon card or Cavalry combat available to them in age 3, uh, but it is noteworthy and it is a powerful card. Largely, when we do this, we will be going over just the rounded damage numbers, as I don't want to go too deeply into the decimal points, so I will uh, refrain from doing so and just use the rounded numbers. Uh, with the carded Dragoons, the Por Portugal's Dragoons have 281 HP and 30 attack, compared to the still 217 HP of the Carbine Cavalry and 24 attack which translates to 33 attack instead of 29, which is a significant boost, uh, to say the least. So we have 33 compared to 30, which is about the same amount of damage difference, actually. Uh, the 5% damage of the Dragoon didn't help, but the 20% HP definitely carried it a very large ways to a point where it's now just about 65 dam uh, HP above the, that of the Carbine Cavalry. And in exchange, the Carbine Cavalry just tied it in range resistance. There is something to be said, however, that even though the Carbine Cavalry is definitely less tanky than the Dragoon, and it does similar but more amounts of damage in DPS, uh, the Carbine Cavalry having 2.25 speed is actually much, much better for kiting, as it means that you are less likely to run into scenarios where you are kiting your opponent's Hussar and accidentally click the attack button a split second too early, causing your Dragoons to just stand there like idiots while the Hussar run into them and catch up. Uh, that kind of stuff just doesn't happen with, uh, that, that kind of stuff just does not happen with uh, Carbine Cavalry, their attack speed is faster, you would be very hard pressed to accidentally click too early on your opponents, unless you were used to playing Aztec. Additionally, the extra range gives you a lot more margin for error when it comes to kiting, so the Carbine Cavalry is definitely the superior kiting unit. They also are notably cheaper, costing only 80 food and 80 coin, as opposed to 90 food and 90 coin, making the Carmine Cavalry only a little bit more expensive compared to Eagle Runner Knights, which is, I think, interesting, uh, considering Eagles cost 75 and 75, although they are one population units. When we get to age 4, um, the Carbine Cavalry has their standard guard upgrade, which provides 30% boost. Uh, and this is going to carry their attack with the age 3 card that they already had up to 30 damage, which translates to 40 damage at 3 speed. Meanwhile, the Portuguese Dragoon gets the Royal Guard upgrade, which gives them an extra 10% uh, and boosts their damage all the way to 39. And you can see that they just are taking off in, in HP. They have 361 of it which is absolutely no joke. Uh, compared it to the Royal Guards 270, we are now 90 HP above that of the Carbine Cavalry. And only one damage behind them, realistically. However, the Carbine Cavalry still does have two range over the Portugal's Dragoon. But that will not stay for long, as the Portugal Dragoon has the card in another card in age four that boosts their range by four, going from twelve to sixteen. 
Then, when both players use their uh, arsenal techs to get an extra 10% damage and to range, we end up with 32 attack, which equals to 43 at 3 speed, versus 41 attack uh, at uh, 3 speed as well, uh, with 16 range on the Carbine Cavalry and 18 range on the uh, on the Portugal Dragoon. Now, notably, this is kind of unfair to the Carbine Cavalry because the Dragoons, uh, Portugal Dragoons having extra range is an exclusively Portugal thing, and the Carbine Cavalry will outrange pretty much every other Dragoon in the game, with a couple exceptions. Not, 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 they, they will tie with Eagle Runner Knights, for example. Uh, after this tech is sent, but like, it, but that's only after the Eagle Runner Knights themselves have also been carded. Uh, one other note that has not been brought up is the USA uh, flag. USA, of course, has the inspiring flag, which they can drop into pretty much any battle and boost this uh, and boost the current attack by 10%. Now that is the current attack and not the base attack, which means you take the damage that we have now and then further boost that by 10%. And then when we do that, we end up with a damage value of about 47 at three speed with the flag, which is pretty impressive for the Carbine Cavalry and definitely notably larger than the 41 of the Legion Dragoon, although not that much higher. Um, so when all is said and done, the Carbine Cavalry pound, uh, unit for unit is definitely a downgrade from the Dragoon. However, its HP, it, its cost reduction should definitely uh, be taken into account, and its, H, its HP is reflective of that, but its damage is not. So you end up with a unit that is uh, resource for resource, somewhat even with the Dragoon in HP to resource cost, but vastly ahead of the Dragoon in HP to damage cost. And as such, if you want, if you are fighting a Portugal player, I do not recommend going Dragoons because their equal size masses will always be in Portugal's favor. However, if you are, if you need a player that is going with Dragoons, USA has some particularly special and nasty and effective ones. We won't be going into age five stats because I kind of think that's irrelevant in the context of most standard games. However, I will briefly mention the fact that USA gets access to another 15% combat card for HP and damage, as well as 5% speed if they choose to go Florida. So on the off chance that you, as the USA player, are the primary proponent of Hussar and or Carbide and Cavalry in your team composition, uh, then this could be a very big thing for you indeed, uh, especially in combination with something like Georgia Hussars. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned some about Carbine Cavalry, uh, that they are very solid, they are quite long-ranged, and not nearly as good as the Dr Portugal Dragoon on a unit-to-unit -unit basis, but definitely ahead of them in resource cost to stats. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and goodbye. Still my heart beats again and again I'm always searching for a love with no sense of